everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great week. My husband has been off work since last Friday, and he will be going back to work next Wednesday. So we have had quite a lovely time. Um, been a little uh, absent in videos. Did do some painting yesterday, so was able to watch some videos and leave some comments. But um, we've kind of been taking a break from a lot of uh, electronic devices. So... Anyway, just wanted to come on quickly and share a few things and show a couple things. Uh, first of all, um, I've been crocheting some gifts for my family for Christmas, and I had some extra yarn, so I made her that little tie headband last night. And I also brought in the shelf that I had used at the doll show, and I it's kind of really hard to see. I guess right there you can see it. Um... I used some 2x4s. I had my husband cut it. It was just a tad too long for the space. And then I see there's some 2x4s hidden in there to elevate it a bit and also keep the raw wood off the bed. But I like how her little foot dangles there. So I have the bigger baby sitting up there for now. Um, just made it a little more space. And then Nikolai is also sitting up there because he's a big guy. And then there's some more space. And then I had to put the fairy abode on the shelf and then there's those two and then here's um kylie alexis is on her drying rack this is uh, last time i showed them they had their you know veins and mottling this is about i think 15 or so more layers in i got a long way to go ladies but um as i said i haven't been doing much i did paint yesterday for a little bit but um and a little over the weekend, I think. But I've kind of been just taking it easy. I've been taking, I've had a couple naps. Oh, it's been glorious. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a lovely week. And gearing up for Thanksgiving. My turkey's currently brining. And I'm just going to run out to get my last minute fresh items. I don't like to buy the fresh things until the day before. So I'm heading out to do that. I really should change these babies, ladies, because... I'm in flip-flops. It's so beautiful out. <laughs> I just, again, haven't had the time to do it. So they're all still kind of bundled in their little sweaters because um, it was chilly when I did that. But um, anyway, uh, I'm not sure how many of you Black Friday shop. I haven't done it for several years. Used to be a die-hard Black Friday shopper when my brother's children were young. You know, to get... I like to shop all year. I kind of keep... Um, um, a space where I stash gifts all year and then usually about this time is kind of when I pull everything out I keep notes of who I have what for and what I've spent on people and then um, when the kids were younger you know they all the newest stuff that comes out <clears throat> and then they always have the Black Friday specials but I wanted to share something with you even though I don't do it anymore I made a discovery oh about well, it's been more than 10 years, 10, 12, I don't know how many years, but for sure more than 10 years ago. Um, my mom used to Black Friday shop for us, and then when my brother had children and I was a nanny, I kind of joined in, and she and I would, you know, get all the sale papers and go through them and circle the things we wanted and map out our plan for Friday and see who opened, you know, had a list of who opened at what time, and we would divide and conquer. I'd drop her at that store, I'd run to this store, but... If any of you do it, you know that you're like waiting in lines. And this was in Illinois, and so it's very, very cold. And so we, it would take us probably till mid-afternoon to get through our list. And of course, there were places that we got to late where they no longer had the, you know, they would have a limited quantity of things or whatever. So we didn't get to come home with everything all the time. And then we would come home and just be exhausted for the, I mean, we'd carry in all our bags and just kind of like, <sighs> plop down and be exhausted from the lines and the headaches and waiting outside and whatever. And then, again, as I said, I can't remember how many years ago it was, but one night, we were one of these, you know, Thanksgiving nights, as she and I were going through the sale papers, it dawned on me a couple things. Number one, Walmart's open 24 hours. And number two, they price match. So I said, let's try something this year. <laughs> So whatever the time was that they were starting their specials, let's say it was 5 a.m., 
I said, let's go at 4 a.m. So we again went through our, all our sale flyers, found all the things we wanted, circled them, made our list. And then because Walmart's open 24 hours, we didn't have to stand in a line outside. So we got there an hour before their specials. And we found out that they put all, uh, electronics are usually behind the counter, but all the other stuff, they put in sealed pallets around the circumference of the store in that main aisle. And they're usually marked. So what we did was we walked around, we found where the pallets were that we wanted, and then we spent the remainder of what was left of that hour going through our list of things that we wanted that were on special at other stores. Put them in our cart. Even got some other toiletries, whatever else we needed. And then at 5 o'clock, we hit the pallets. By 5.15, we were in line, checked out. They price matched everything, went to breakfast. We were home before, like, I don't know, what it was, 8 a.m. or something. We got to go back to bed. So for those of you who still do the store-to-store-to-store, if you live anywhere near a 24-hour Walmart, try it. It'll save you a lot. Now, I know there are certain things that stores only, like they, they only carry those certain things and you don't get the same brands or whatever, but for all the big items and all the, the like, you know, board games and all that stuff that you get for kids that you know Walmart will carry, it sure does save a lot of time and headache. At least it did for us, and we found we were able to go to Walmart and be done. Um, so just wanted to pass that little bit of shopping advice on to anybody who still does it. Um, now I don't really do it. I'm more of an online shopper and, um, I do, um, still look at the ads to see if there's anything that we want. But anyway, just wanted to share that and tell everybody to have a very, very blessed Thanksgiving. Hugs, love, and blessings from all of us. Bye-bye.